Ever in a I million years. I would never years. show it to in a, a million years. Like, check out this. No way. That's, that's for me. I don't that's even like knowing if she but took them before and sent me an old one. Oh, yeah. Those are just but, for me forever. But ever. that's not the only way to show off. Because, for example, if I'm a guy and I date you and you're beautiful, you're a 10, I would want to show you off to a friend just by being with you. You know I what I mean? I think you could be so ugly and they'd still do it. Like, yeah, exactly. But like, like that, that, you you'd well, never want to show here, off. Here's the difference, right? You're also like, a lot older than me. I'm in college. Like, these college boys, I've dated frat guys and I've seen their group chat. Sure. There's frat guys. That yeah, actually yeah, that's a pretty good point. They have a specific like, reputation. Okay, well, I was in college once and even when I was in college I, I think wasn't doing it maybe sing. I definitely I, I do definitely because agree. I think as a I've, woman people. we are insecure so we are like, oh my god, speak for yourself. Yeah, there's no <laughs> we are a little bit insecure so we tell our friends, "Hey, what do you like this guy? He talks yeah. about this and this." And oh my god, he doesn't post me on Instagram. I want to be seen, I want to be show off so I feel safe that he's not have any secrets about me. And stuff like yeah. that. So I just think it's a little I have, I have had contentious arguments in relationships because girls are in group chats sending each other photos of dudes they've been with and bragging and asking questions. And I think it's wildly inappropriate. I want to date someone who would mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. If your best friend is like, who did you hook up with? Let me see him. And also that, like, that sucks. I don't want to date someone like that. It's yeah. gross. I mean, this is all our personal experiences. I just like, because think about, you know, men are so, they're so horny all the time. And I'm like, damn, no way y'all's like, y'all are this thirsty compared to women. Like, I think it's a lot of for oh, validation. We are. You Men are, men are touching themselves while they're driving. Do you understand? Like, yeah. there's no... We, it's so... I think it's so dramatic. It's so extra. They want well, validation. Well, going back to this, Shane, so let's say you went out on a date with a girl yep. and your buddy happens to know that sure. you, you went out with a girl or something. Like... My conversation with a male friend would be like, he might be like, oh, hey, Brian, how'd it go with Tiffany? I'd be like, good. Yeah. <laughs> we could have hooked up. We could, whatever. That's it. Oh, yeah, it was good, man. That's it. I'm not going to get into details and talk about the sex with the dude. That's the last thing I'm going to share. I don't know if I'm an outlier here, if I'm just discreet. I would never share any of that info I with, am, a, with a girl. Look at me. Or sorry, with a male friend. Yeah, look at me. I am friends with a lot of degenerate, disgusting yeah. men. Like, yeah. dudes who are up to horrible things. It's it's mm. weird. It would be embarrassing to me if a male friend tried to be like, dude, I was with her. This is what it was like. I'd be like, what are you doing right now? Wait a second. Let me ask you this question. You guys keep talking about, but first you said that your experience is you're not type of, that type of guy. I agree with you. But you bring up an interesting point. You say you know scumbags. And even they wouldn't do that. OK, that's wrong. Have you heard of the Burning Sun incident? What? The Burning Sun incident? What? Yeah. Burning Sun incident. It's famous people, group of guys. Do you know Big Bang? K-pop? What? Are you going to bring it up? Are you discussing up? revenge porn right no, now? No, not revenge porn. This group of guys, celebrities, they actually have a secret chat room where they sign oh. each news. Girls, they drugged. Girls, they volunt what? involuntary or voluntary into the chat room. And this is hundreds of people. But and this has happened in all kinds of countries. This Burning Sun incident is a BBC documentary. You should all check it out. Okay, but She's, hold on. Let me finish. She's talking about her experience. So it's valid. There are guys who do that to show off, to text okay, amongst each other. But you yeah. got to understand, me and Shane are not making the argument that no men do that. There's right. obviously guys that like gross share yeah. like right. that kind yeah. of yeah. stuff. But like he but says scumbags do that. Men. I'm just saying please yeah. acknowledge the scumbags of the world. Okay. Oh, there's fine. evil people totally. doing bad stuff. But I would say, generally speaking, sure, there's men who do this. I think it actually manifests itself much more in women. I mean, there's I, no like really evidence. Oh, my. Never no, there is evidence. No, I, I think they've actually studied that. I don't know if they're studies. Well, but we it, it is. It up, but I don't think it how, how many how many times have you guys been on a date and before you went on the date, you sent a photo of the guy to a girlfriend? No, never. No, no, no. We oh, don't wait. go on dates. Oh, I got one. <laughs> wait, I have a good one. How many of you have disclosed to either a female friend or even a female acquaintance the size of a guy's penis who of you hooked course. up with? Raise your hands. No, no, no. So be honest. If it be was honest. Really memorable. Be honest. Shane, <laughs> have you ever disclosed the fucking pussy size, the labia size? Of a girl you fucked up with to a male friend. Because that doesn't matter. Because penis size matters. No, no, no. matter. No, it matters. No, it matters. Full of big matters. 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 Oh Hashtag, God. I only date women with large. Bra size, bra size. Oh, my Libya. Oh, yeah. 
I think if a girl had something had really memorable, they might now. say something to that. <laughs> What's friend. that? I said, I think the same way that a girl, if if the guy, if it's real memorable, maybe they'll say something. I would never say something if it was a normal penis. But I think if a girl had something really memorable or something really crazy happened, the guy would be just as likely to say something. I mean, if she had like, if, if she got Giant naked boots. and you're like, dude, she didn't have one of her legs. <laughs> no. Like that would be well, like, like something. Or she had an extra leg. I mean, I, I've encountered like, Interesting sexual things. Like if she bit you or like barked at you, you'd probably say <laughs> like yeah, the cat story. Yeah. Like the yeah, cat story. Yeah, but most people, like a lot of men are gonna feel like a type of way. Like if you're talking about his genitals, that's way different than like an anecdote that any like anybody could bite you, right? So I don't think anybody would like if he bit you and you told somebody, like. It's not discreet, but it's not like super intimate information necessarily. Although yeah. there are, yeah, I still think it's. But like, maybe they got for example, a fetish. I've encountered women who are like crazily multi-orgasmic who come instantly. I would never tell a male friend that. But you're also yeah. a lot older than me, and I. How is that? These. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> these, because a lot of these, it it is an immature thing, definitely. And that's why, I mean, I'm a college girl. I deal with the college boys, and that's what they do. Well, I don't know if, like, younger guys are more getting more, like, feminine or whatever. But, like, at least for me, I, I've always been discreet know. with the girls I date. It's just a respect thing. I ain't mm, going to yeah, tell. Yeah, it's disrespectful. But I, I think, think yeah, but don't care. women do that shit all the well, time. Well, then it's disrespectful when they do it, too. I've just never, I haven't experienced that. Yeah, but that it's not, I'm, I don't think it's viewed, like, when y'all are with your girlfriends and you're, like, sharing all these intimate details about, like, some new guy you hooked up with. But None of the women in the group are like, whoa, this is kind of, like, sharing really intimate details. But, but guess what? Women experience shame. People shame women for having sex. People do not shame men for having sex. I, oh, they do. I, I they think do. they do, but I would also like to point out that you are a an adult SW worker, guy. and so when men sleep with you, I think a lot of the time no, it's a conquest. Like, when, but you've I've been doing it. that before since you were 18. Yes, but I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really do that. Went, but like, I, that's a recent thing. Collaborating with people. But still, if you are, if you, if you do, if you're an SW or whatever, and yeah. and someone hooks up with you, then you're more likely, by virtue of the line of work and stuff, to attract the type of scumbag man who would be like, "Yo, check this girl's Instagram. She does this, and I just hooked I mean, up with her." I see them do it with other girls too, like my friends, all these other. I think it's. I don't think it's necessarily just me. You know what I mean? Okay. Sure. Just yeah. slap uh, them in so their face when they do it. You said that men hook up with date women to receive validation from other men and care more about how their peers see them than the women they are with. And I think I sent that a long time sure, ago. Sure, that's but, fine. But so, I mean, maybe this is true, but I, I do think, I mean, well, at least I think, maybe the panel agrees, disagrees. I do think it's a far more frequent occurrence in women. For example, I think women are much more likely to seek out the cosign from their friends on the guy than the reverse. But like I said, like you, you come on here and I, I've seen you ask girls, what's your body count? No, 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 no wait, 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 body counts, but what are the, Sorry, I got to interrupt you here. Let me engage you precisely on this. So <laughs> you object to me shaming women for their body count. Which I, think, I don't really think I do. Well, I, it's meant to I be asked because you say like, oh, like, I think pretty sure you ask like, oh, like, or I don't know, does yeah, it matter? I ask you ask if it matters or I, something talk, like that. Sure, we talk um, about body I mean, count, I, ask well, the question. The point is, it's, you would never ask a man and then shame them for it. Actual, well, actually, I'm, I've said this multiple times on the podcast. Nobody cares about a man's body count. Well, hold on. I've said this multiple multiple times on the podcast. I'm actually not in favor of male promiscuity either. I'm not either. I don't do hookup. I just do it for my job. But right. So are you? do you have trouble with me shaming women, or do you have trouble with you think there's a double standard? I think that there is a double standard. And right, it may I've, not necessarily just, be from you, so, okay. but from everyone. I've just stated, though, that I object to male promiscuity, but too. do you know another podcast that asks men their body count hosted by a woman? If you want to yeah. start, guys, call we her fucked. daddy. Call her daddy, call her daddy <laughs> guys, we fucked. I, I'm good friends with No, call with her the daddy, bring on both men and women equally. But you guys bring on only girls. My call friend Corinne many? Fisher runs that podcast. I'm close friends with her. We dated. She literally, it's a podcast about people she fucks and people who are promiscuous. It's the anti-slut shaming podcast. She literally has men on there to talk about how slutty they are. That's the whole premise of the show. But do they also bring women on and equally? I mean, they talk to women about not sex, they too. They talk about a lot of gossip, a lot of women, a lot of female female go on those podcasts. But they it's have not also targeting men, but it's dating different. podcasts. But why but is men it, date, too. Why I'm on don't... here. I'm a man. What do you not know, see proportions? <laughs> Darling, but why is what? it wrong for a man to ask about body count, but it's okay for a woman to ask about a man's Dick bank side. account? 
I'm not asking about the bank account. Bank <laughs> account or anything. That's not everyone. So I don't also know. Wrong. I always ask bank account information. Oh, like okay. if you don't want to, so that's not. That's you got my but, point right. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. That's okay. a W for. T- yeah. Wait, hold on. So. Where, 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 where did this we're come talking from? About the but we, oh, we're talking no, about so you're that. like, well, you shame the women, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not in favor of male promiscuity either. I think it's different, but... I think uh, they're both... I mean, I think well, people can do it. we can want. get into that, but you said, you said hookup culture ruins dating. I think it does. Annoying because no one wants to commit anymore. So if hookup culture is bad, hookup culture would be proxy for promiscuity. Promiscuity is proxy for having a high body count. So... How are we going if you object to hookup culture? Uh, there, we're For not going to hold on, me. hold on. Well, most people will say they object to hook, hookup culture, but if you start shaming female sexuality and promiscuity, all of a sudden it's a problem. We're, there's no way we're going to be able to legislate women to not fuck a bunch of dudes. So the only solution to hookup culture is by shaming. Female sexuality and promiscuity. I think adults can do what they want to do, yeah. and personally. Ah, but okay, then if you can just do whatever you want to do, but hookup culture bad. How do you solve hookup culture? I don't culture? like hookup culture. I don't partake in it. I do it for my. I guess I do. So you don't want to see the world improve. I mean, so I think that it ruins dating because personally, like I am. Even before I did adult content, it was very frustrating because it's like. Bro, like I'll like every nobody. I feel like nobody's in relationships. I feel like it's all just hook up, hook up, hook up, hook up. Easy sex. Okay, easy so why don't we that. shame men and women who engage in promiscuous behavior? Because I mean, I don't know. I feel like if they're they're gonna do it, if they're gonna do it, and they're like, I mean, if they want. Okay, do people it, are gonna fine. sell drugs and commit all sorts of crimes. Okay, but like we should try like, to like if they want to create a social prep. Adults are allowed to make those decisions for yeah. themselves. Not, but what, I don't want to do it. Can them. I say but something? Sh- first, uh, let, please? Or let's let Shane go. Then I'll yeah, have yeah. you come. Shame is shame is something. that that you, is a power you give to someone else to give to you. Like, if, if I'm Mormon and I drink coffee and someone sees it, I will feel shame. But if you drink coffee, do you care at all? Mm-mm. No. And so when he says, what's your body count, and you feel like you're being shamed... I'll tell you right now. I mean, I don't know my... You don't have now. to. I don't no, care. No, she can tell. Oh, yeah. Me. I mean, yeah, actually, what am I talking about? It's the whole I show. My I bad, don't, I really genuinely don't know. But really? if he asks women who come on this podcast, what's your body count, and you think that he is shaming them, why? If the body count doesn't matter, then they should just powerfully say a good point. this and then whatever. Mm-hmm. And then just move on because their sexuality is theirs. It doesn't belong to Brian. Brian's opinion doesn't affect them. But everyone seems to feel really weird and yeah. awkward about it because yeah. it's almost like sex is really intimate it's, and beautiful and essential to the human experience. It's done to, I think, try to like embarrass women. And like I said, I don't really care about body count. Personally, I, I'm a, a do adult content and... So, like it doesn't really matter to me as much, but I, think I actually, if a girl reveals her body count on the show and it's high, I have absolutely typically like no reaction. Exactly. Even if it's high, I'm pretty much just like okay. I, okay. I mean, it, <laughs> I actually, it doesn't really matter. I think it's that not about embarrassing them. When you're like an adult, especially the older you get, I feel like the less it matters. It's more of like an immature thing. I think. What do you mean an immature thing? Because it's like I don't know. Like think about like I mean. To, you mean immature to care about body count? Yeah, I think it is kind of because I mean the more okay. ex- the older you get, the more experience you get, and it's like the more like I think that if you care about it, it's because like. I mean, it's, I think it's immature. I think that... It's immature. Yeah. I think it gets convoluted. About. I don't think it's that we care about body count. I think it's it's the... What happens to you because of the high body count, right? But like, you happens? have it all these... I sometimes, think some sometimes, people may view it as a great. loyalty issue. All right. It's going to sound a little bit harsh, but I do not mean it that way. Do you do contact with other people, though? I did one movie okay. with the guy that told you. But I think as a porn star if we look honestly at ourselves we cannot say we are against hookup culture if that's literally our job i don't do any kind of stuff outside of content though but you hook up with men and but you do not want to be judged by it i do not judge you at all i don't don't care if people judge me for it's my job but you cannot say i do not like it when you do it for a living but it's like different i like because i'm a relationship person that we have to be honest with ourselves we're doing porn we cannot say i do not like it and do it I don't do it. I've never done it outside of content. I don't really like it. Yeah, but it. it's still content. I mean, not it's still all car mechanics up. like being car mechanics. 
right? I, I'm okay Some people, with my job. I'm, I'm, I'm not like saying it. that there are people in the industry who don't like it. I'm just saying you could do it and not but like it. if you it, do it for, for sure. a living, hooking up for a living and making a movie, you cannot say I do not like it. I feel like it's you not can, a hook The up point is less that and more that you can't be a car mechanic and then be like, dang, all these cars on the road all this time. I hate it here. <laughs> Thank you. No, you, you, you can't complain my point about my the atmosphere because I do think a lot of shame are put upon women by men and it's societal and it's caused by patriarchy. That's what I think. And to oh, your point, boy. you think shame is you giving your power away to someone else. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's true because as human beings, we unconsciously care about what other people think. So in order to fit into society, unconsciously we feel shame because everybody's opinion affects us. So when you call us promiscuous, mm -hmm. and when you use a negative term to describe someone who you perceive like like for instance to, to short a lot. like for instance the word short yeah yeah like if um, so i just think that mm -hmm. that's not true. okay that's like, not i don't know you interrupted my thought ahead, and then i just like ahead. farted go ahead keep <laughs> my no, you're saying woman you're ruling the world we so, will just so shame is put upon at us war. by men that's a lot of times and women who war. couldn't you know what's, i think you should what's actually I, I what's actually wrong with shame Shame like, what doesn't make progress. Wrong? Shame and guilt actually stall your progress. I, I say it's you mean positive pro bullying. When you say progress, you, your progress. you would but, improve. But so, for example, like if negative, negative, if actions contribute to negative world outcomes or like starts breaking down society, mm -hmm. like how do you actually start defending against that without passing laws? The only yeah. way you have is social pressure and shame. So unless we're prepared to legislate like, okay, enforced monogamy, which is never going to happen, really the only way that you're going to be able to combat promiscuity in both men and women is to shame promiscuity yeah. in men honest. and women. And Technically, we have forced honest. monogamy yeah. because polygamy yeah, is illegal. Have, yeah, maybe we well, shouldn't have monogamy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. More so like... But that proves your point. Right. Yeah. So... Yeah. All right. we, you That's have to shame thing. people out of the bad thing, yeah. polygamy, yeah, yeah. which is a practice that destroys communities and you know drives men to commit suicide and it has all kinds of other problems. But like, anyway, I grew up in Utah, so polygamists are all over the place. Mm. But yeah, it's bad. Yeah. So shame is makes sense. Guys, drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. And let's see, when's the last time we got a prime?